Hi there ladies and gentlemen and here we are with another Fusion 360 tutorial and so far uh, in our 10 other tutorials we've just been creating basic shapes nothing really fancy and, and nothing really specific but in this project we're going to be uh, actually drawing something from a technical drawing so this is typically what you would be using Fusion 364 you're going to be drawing mechanical parts, machined parts um, you may be sent a mechanical drawing like this and you have to uh, draw the 3D view um, from this type of schematic. In this case, uh, the schematic is referenced below with various different sizes um, for different, different measurements on here. But all the measurements that we need to draw this tool are all here. So um, let's start with uh, the top. Um, basically, we have uh, diameter at the top of D1 so if we look at what D1 is it is 14 millimeters so we'll start by drawing a 14 millimeter circle here okay so there's our start point and we'll go to finish sketch now coming down from there uh, we have a distance uh, called H2 so if we look up H2, it's 6 millimeters. So we're going to extrude this by 6 millimeters. Like so. Okay, now from H2, which was 6 millimeters, uh, we're going to come down to this base here. So our total height is H1. Total height is 35. If we remove H2, which was 6, we're down to 29. And if we remove B1, which is 14, we are down to 15. Okay? So the distance from here to here is going to be 15 millimeters. And we're going up in size to D3, which is 25. So basically we need a circle that's 25, we need to move it 15 millimeters down and then we can loft it. So if we choose this as our surface, we will look at that plane. And we'll make this 25. And we delete the coincident. That should now allow us to move this sketch object down by 15. There we go. So we move this by 15 millimeters. And now we should be able to loft we have finished sketch. Um, we should be able to loft from here to here, like so. There. Okay. So that is basically our cone shape here. Now, um, we are as far as D. So D is 90. That's our larger outer diameter there. So we basically need to draw onto the bottom of here a 90 millimeter diameter circle like so it's quite large in comparison to the rest of it but that's what the measurements say um, 90 right? uh, D is 90 and the thickness of D is going to be uh, B minus F. So B uh, B is 14 and F is 2, so that's 12. So we're going to be extruding this 12 millimeters, like so. Yeah, just want to bring this down the same. Okay. 
And now finally, we have a D4, which is our protrusion at the bottom, which is 40 millimeters and sticks out by a distance of F, which is two. So again, we draw a sketch on the base, and it was 40. Finish sketch, extrude by two millimeters. Okay, there is our basic shape. Now it is uh, radius here and here, and uh, the radius is R, and R is four. So we can go in and fill a these edges, this one, and this one by four millimeters like so. And finally, we need our hole going through the middle. So the thickness of the wall here at the top is S. And S is 1.8. So uh, 1.8 times 2 would give us 3.6. Um, so that's 3.6 uh, off of uh, D1. So D1 is 14, we take 3.6 off of there, and we get 11.4, correct? Um, so 11.4 will be the diameter of our circle on the top here, which we'll use to cut our hole. So 11.4, finish sketch. Select this and we'll cut this all the way through. Make sure we're coming at the bottom. There we are. So it's a cut, and there we have it. So now, if we get a section view through our object, it should begin to look very much like the drawing that we're copying from. There. So now we need to put our flange holes. So there are four of them, and um, they are diameter D2. So D2 is 14, and it looks like it's uh, centered, basically, on each side here. Um, so if we measure the distance from here to here, so we go to inspect and go to measure, and we measure that distance. It's 29, so we could call it 30. Um, and our bolt is 14 millimeters, so we're basically halfway along here. We're going to be um, drawing our circles. So if we select this as our sketch surface, And we'll go to offset. And we'll offset this by 14. Um, actually, we need to make it more like 15. To be about halfway. Okay. Um, and now we'll create our holes which are 14 millimeters in diameter to take an M12 bolt. We have four of them. And they're arranged like so. So we go 14 here. Here. So now you can see oops, part of the advantage of working from the origin point you see that we actually have a natural intersection here of our axes. So uh, we don't have to do any further construction lines or intersections. We're already there. There we go. So there are our four bolt holes. We can now remove this. It's no longer needed. And go to finish sketch. And we select each one of these. And we extrude it 
all the way through. And there we now have our finished drawing to the exact specifications and dimensions that we have here. Uh, now the final thing we might want to do is add a thread. It says that this is an M12 bolt, so you might want to add an M12 thread to there, possibly. In this particular design it's not threaded, but uh, just for the sake of completeness of this tutorial, I have covered it before, but I'll show you again how to put a thread in. So, we're going to create thread, we'll choose this inner surface, and uh, we want an M12. And we'll go with a uh, yeah 1.75 thread, and we'll say it's got to be modeled. Uh, now, we cannot create a M12. Let's go to M14. Okay, and we'll make the thread a little finer. Put it 1.25. We'll click Remember. So now we can copy this thread. Same parameters to other holes. There we go, here we have our threaded flange piece ready to be used in an assembly with other parts. So I hope you find this tutorial useful. Uh, we covered quite a lot, uh, not just how to actually model this piece but um, also how to read the, the plans. And um, as always, I'm going to take you through the steps of this. Uh, we'll replay all of the stages that we went through. And you can see how our model was formed. There we go. You can download this and view the project file in the link below this video. Be sure to hit subscribe button and tune in for the next tutorial where we'll be taking this object and using it um, in an assembly um, with some other components that we're going to be drawing. So it's all getting uh, much more exciting and interesting now. We've got over the basics and uh, we're beginning to get into actual real uh, projects. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time.